Hi everyone, it's Carol with Be Inspired Market and today we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree project. So I have this embroidery hoop that I got from a thrift store and it's about 10 inches but I'm going to show you first we are going to do a wood bead hanger for this um, hoop and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way on how I stain my beads. Again, you can do this with paint as well. I'm going to be using the Waverly Antique Wax. You're going to need a little plastic bag and definitely some gloves because this does get messy. You just take your beads. Now I only had five. This would really work if you had a lot of beads. And then I have the Waverly Antique Wax that you can get at Walmart. Now I poured some paint in there and I poured way too much. You just need a little. That was way too much, <laughs> but it all worked out in the end. It was just a lot more cleanup. So again, just pour your paint into the bag, seal your bag up, and then what you're going to do is go ahead and just squish your beads around till you get them fully coated. Again, use a lot less paint than I did unless you were gonna put a lot more beads in there. So once you have it fully covered, you're going to take them out of the bag. I just use a coffee filter, but you can use paper towels. And then you're wiping off the excess paint and just making sure that you're rubbing it. So it's staining the beads. It just gives it this deep color that I think is just perfect for this um, project. And that's why I chose to do it once you have that you just take out all the rest of your beads and then I just put them in the coffee filter and again just removed all the excess and then I'll show you later how I remove some of that paint inside the bead so just keep wiping them and then putting them to the side and then you'll let them dry while you work on the rest of your project I just took a clean coffee coffee filter that puppy pad is awesome and I just cleaned it some more but you're gonna see just how deep of a color it gives to these beads. They're 20 mm, and I got them off of Amazon. They come in a natural color, but look how pretty that is. I love it. It was the perfect touch for this project. So now that we have the beads done, we're gonna move on to the embroidery hoop. Again, this is a 10 inch hoop I got uh, probably at Goodwill, but you can get them at your craft store. I'm going to be using the Waverly Ballet Slipper. It's a really soft pink. I just wanted to add color to the hoop. You can definitely leave it natural or just paint it any color that you want. So again, I'm just using gloves. It just makes it that much easier for cleanup. And then all I did was just paint the outside hoop and the inside hoop. It just took one coat. This paint dries so quickly. The foam brush works good when you're working on like, um, you know, a piece that has curves and things like that, but just make sure you cover it. Again, it's just optional. You don't have to paint the hoop. You can leave it its natural color, but I just thought because we were doing this in spring colors that I just wanted to add some extra color to it. So once you have that fully painted, you're gonna put that to the side. Now, going back to the beads, I just took a skewer and I just pushed out some of that excess paint that was inside of those beads. We're gonna be threading that on some jute and I just wanted to make sure that the paint didn't dry. And then once you're done, you're, you can put that to the side. So these are florals I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just taking them off. I don't need the stems, I just need the petals. There's some tool that we're gonna be working with and that's really what this is going to be all about is you're going to sandwich those flowers in between the tools. So I got this tool from Goodwill. It was in a bag or something, but you can find it at Joann's or any of those craft stores or possibly even Amazon. But what I did is I just took the embroidery hoop so that I could see like my placement. So the tool is underneath and then I'm just placing the flowers around, making sure that everything kind of sits the way that I want it. And then I fold over, again, sandwiching those flowers in between there and making sure I have enough room. So I kind of just lifted it, made a little more space on that right side. And then again, if your flowers move or anything like that, you can just move them in place. 
And then once you're done with that, you're going to have to put something heavy on top. So I just had this piece of wood, I put it on top and I let that sit for about two hours just to flatten them out. Once I was happy with that, you're going to place your inner hoop underneath the tool. And again, those flowers are in between those layers. So you kind of just move it around and then put your top hoop on top and then push it down super tight so everything is inside that hoop and then tighten up your embroidery hoop and cut off the excess tool so once you have that done i mean it's just a pretty piece it could make a great mother's day gift or something to hang up on your door but you can use any kind of flowers i use the pink and purple that has always been my uh signature colors for my daughters Ashley is pink and Annalise is purple. That's how I used to dress them. They're twins. One used to wear uh, pink and one used to wear purple. So it's just a signature color. So now all I'm doing is beading those beads on the jute. And again, you just push it all the way through. You can use three, five, I like five. But again, it's just going to be our hanger for this really pretty decor made out of Dollar Tree flowers and just some tool that I had left over from, you know, before, and that's it. And then you're just gonna tie a knot to it and that's going to be your hanger. So super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please spread the honey or sprinkle and uh, leave a comment, let me know, and follow Be Inspired Market for more DIYs.